Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the step-by-step -step breakdown of how I made this Dino Jump game animation project from beginning to the end. And by the end of this video, I will refer the tutorials and provide the links for the techniques I used in this animation project. So watch till the end. I got the idea of this project from the original Dino game from the Google Chrome browser. At the very beginning of any project, I do some research on the topic and try to think of the overall scene and the elements required. So I started doing some rough sketches on the topic to put all the ideas in a visual format. The next step is the illustrations. So I decided to reuse some of the backgrounds and the character from the previous projects I have made. So I reused the background from the shooting game project and reused the character of the dino from one of my previous projects where I animated a double bounce walk cycle. After the animation, I realized that the colors are not up to the mark. So I tried out different color palettes and updated the colors a bit. So the idea of this project is pretty simple. The dinosaur is going to run infinitely. Some obstacles will come in between, such as nails, rocks or even fireballs. To dodge the obstacles, the dinosaur will jump, jump and flip or even duck for a moment. So this is the overall idea of this animation project. So once the scene setup is completed, I started separating the layers as per my requirement to prepare the file for animation in After Effects. Now let's check out the After Effects workflow of this project. In After Effects, I started with the Dinosaurus Run Cycle animation. So a run cycle consists of 4 main key poses. So I started with an up pose where the character's body is in the mid -air. After that, a contact pose where the character's one foot touches the ground and the other foot is in air. Then a passing pose where the character shifts the weight from one foot to the another. Then a push pose which you can also call as an up pose where the character pushes the ground to take off. So these are the main key poses for a run cycle. I have taken the consideration of all these key poses while animating this character. And here to rig the body of the character, I used the rubber hose to plug in. Next I started animating the jump. So a jump animation consists of a total of 8 key poses. These key poses are very important to animate a jump properly. Either you want to animate it in After Effects, frame by frame or even in 3D softwares. So it starts with a neutral pose, then the character anticipates by bending a bit. Then a push pose where the character pushes the ground to take off. Then the mid air. So it's basically the maximum height the character reaches in the air. Then a contact pose where the character starts landing on the ground. And finally the recovery pose where the character passes through the neutral pose and then little bit overshoots and come back to the neutral pose. I also have a detailed tutorial on this topic so I will refer all the tutorials for the techniques I used in this project so do watch it till the end. So I implemented all these key poses in my animation and here is how it looks. For the jump and flip I extended the jump and then added another jump and in the mid air I have rotated the entire body of this character before landing on the ground. For the asteroids and the fireballs I have added a glow on the yellow ball and then added a wiggle expression on the glow radius. And then animated the path in a loop for the red flames. I also added some line strokes, trim path and animated the offset in a loop and then added some particles with the help of CC Particle World. I have also animated the shooting star in the similar manner. So here for the red flame, I have added scale up and scale down loop animation. After the overall character animation is completed, I moved on with the background animation. So in the background for the trees waving, I have used the pin tool to distort the layer and then converted the pins into the bone with the help of the twig plugin and then added rotation keyframe in a loop and offset the keyframes to add a little bit of follow through. And here is how it looks. Then for the camera movement, I used some parallax effect on the background layers to add some depth in the background. So here I animated the background elements in X axis, varied the speed of each of the layers such that the distance of the camera is increasing and the element appears to be slower. So here is how it turns out. Okay, so these are the steps I follow throughout the project and this clip is ready to render. 
So that is it for this video. I hope you learned a few important tips and tricks to help you in your project. So if you want to learn how to animate a jump in After Effects, do check out my detailed tutorial from the link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. If you want to learn how to rig and animate a character with the rubber hose to plug in then do check out my detailed tutorial from the link in the description again or click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. Also if you want to learn how to animate a waving tree in After Effects then again you can check out the detailed tutorial from the link in the description or even you can click on the i button on top right corner you can get the tutorial link. Also if you want to learn how to animate a 3D parallax effect in After Effects then again check out the link in the description description for the tutorial or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial tutorial okay so that is it so if you like the video then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the techniques then make sure to comment down i would be happy to help you out and if you're here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates until then goodbye